Hi everyone, my name is Alexander Martinez. I am a developer advocate here at MuleSoft. In the last video, we learned how to secure properties before deployment. We set up some local.secure.properties and a dev.secure.properties. We then encrypted those properties so they are secured in our GitHub repository or any repository that we use. And we also learned how to hide the secure.key property in Runtime Manager. In today's video, we will learn how to apply API auto discovery so we can apply API policies without having to restart our application. For this, we will be using API Manager. So again, on the last video, we secured our properties. As you can see here, we use the dev.secure.properties, the local.secure.properties, and we also set up our mule artifact so we can have the secure key hidden in Runtime Manager. Now let's go to any point platform. We already signed up here and I already logged in. Now let's go to API Manager right here. Click on Manage API in the button right here and then click on Create New API. Now on this screen, let's name our asset. In my case, I will put Hello Mule API. You can put Hello Mule or you can name it however you prefer. On the asset type, let's select HTTP API and click on Continue. Now this screen is going to ask me about my endpoint configuration. We will just leave all of the defaults, which is a basic endpoint, a Mule application and a Mule 4 version. And then click on Save. This will take you to your Hello Mule API page where you will be able to find the auto discovery. Now take a note of this API ID, save it somewhere safe because we are going to use it for setting up AnyPoint Studio. Now back in Studio, we are going to open our local.properties and our dev.properties files and we are going to edit them and add a new property. So let's add api.id and then this will be set up with the number that we just got from API Manager. Same thing here, api.id and the same number. In this case, because I want to connect all of my policies from my dev environment into both my local and my dev environments, I will use the same number. But if I were to use a different environment like QA, production, or any other environment, then we would have to create another API in API Manager, depending on the environment that we're using, and that would change the API ID that we will use right here. So save all. And now we need to configure the global.xml file. Let's go into the global elements tab. Click on create and now let's search for API auto discovery. And here we are going to make reference to the API ID property that we just created. Let's put dollar sign and then open curly brackets and inside we're going to put API.id. Remember that this is a syntax that we use when we want to reference any kind of property. And now here, let's select the Hello Mule flow because this is the only flow that we have right now. We can leave the default and click on OK. Now, before we test this application locally, let's go back to our API Manager or AnyPoint platform screen. Now go to Access Management. On the right side of the screen, select Environments and then select Sandbox, which is the environment that we're using. Now, copy and paste the client ID and client secret into Studio. Maybe just copy them and make a note of them. And now we're going to use them in Studio. So let's go back to Studio. And in my case, because I'm using Mac, I will select um, any point in Studio and then Preferences. Now, this screen should look similar to you, whether you're in Linux, Mac, or Windows. Go to any point Studio and then select API Manager. This will take us to this screen and we will input our client ID and client secret in these two text boxes. After you input both of them, select Validate and you should see that you are now in your organization name. This doesn't have to be Millsoft, this is just the organization name that I put. 
This depends on whatever you set up when you created your free account. So now that this is a green check, you can click on apply and close. Now make sure you saved all of the files and now you can run this application. Once you see the deploy status in the console, now go into Postman. I already have here my local host 8081 Hello Mule and click on send. Now everything is still working as expected. I still get my Hello Mule body and my 200 OK status response. Now that we saw that everything is still working, we can stop this and now deploy to any point platform. So any point platform, deploy to Cloud Hub. We get our new window. And then if we go to properties, some of these properties may be already predefined for you. Depending on the version of any point platform that you're using, you may or may not see the any point platform client ID and any point platform client secret properties right here. These two should match whatever you have in your AnyPoint platform. So if we go back to our previous screen in AnyPoint platform, remember that we had this client ID and this client secret. Let's just double check that these are the same properties. So my client ID is this one. It's the same one. And my client secret is this one. And yes, they are the same properties. So if you don't have these properties set up, please set them up, both of them. And if you do, then that is good enough. But before you deploy, let's click on cancel and go back into mule artifact.json. So now we need to add those two properties in here because we want them to be hidden from runtime manager. We want we don't want strange eyes looking at our properties. So let's just add them right here. And now that we have our three properties here, so secure.key, anypoint.platform.clientid, and anypoint.platform.clientsecret, now we can continue the deployment. Save the file and go back into anypoint platform, deploy to Cloud Hub. When we get this screen, let's go to properties and there they are still the same properties that we just saw and just click on deploy application. If we go back to any point platform and click on runtime manager, then we will see our application deploying. Once the application is deployed, we can go back to Postman and now in our other url that we had with our hello mule test url let's go ahead and click on send yes this is still working we still receive our hello mule and our 200 ok status and now if we go to api manager we can now see that our hello mule api is now active this means that it's already connected to our runtime manager application. And that's it for this video. Now that we have set up API manager using a API auto discovery, we can now start setting up some policies. So on our next video, we will learn how to set up the client ID policy from API manager, and it will be reflected into our mule application instantly. Stay tuned and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.